To begin the Model 70 repair process, first you will want to start by turning off the water supply at an upstream shutoff or at the meter connection. You will then depressurize the valve by opening a downstream hose bib or a faucet. If you don't have a pressure gauge downstream of the regulator, you can measure the distance from the top of the adjustment bolt to the bell housing. This will allow you to readjust the valve to the proper outlet pressure after your repair. You will now loosen the lock nut on the adjustment bolt. You will then back out the adjustment bolt from the bell housing until all spring tension is removed. Now you can remove the bell housing by rotating it counterclockwise. You can then remove the spring disc, the spring, and the friction ring. If the valve is installed vertically, the parts may fall out of the bell when it is removed. You will want to hold the diaphragm against the edge of the body to keep it from rotating. Unscrew the bolt in the center of the diaphragm and remove diaphragm disc and the diaphragm. The cartridge can now be unscrewed from the body counterclockwise by using a socket or a wrench. You will now flush out the valve to remain any trapped debris by opening your upstream shutoff valve. Make sure to clean any remaining debris from the body and wipe clean the cartridge and the diaphragm areas. Inspect the body for damage before installing your repair kit. Using the grease in the repair kit, you will lubricate the o-ring near the top of the replacement cartridge. You will want to make sure your screen and your cartridge gasket are on the new cartridge and thread it into the body. Tighten the cartridge with your socket or your wrench. Take care not to damage the top of the cartridge. Any sharp burr can cut the diaphragm. Install your new diaphragm, diaphragm disc, and diaphragm bolt. You will hold the diaphragm against the edge of the body to keep it from rotating. Tighten your diaphragm bolt securely to prevent leaks into the bell. If the valve is installed flowing horizontally, you will set the friction ring, the spring, and the spring disc on the diaphragm. If your valve is installed flowing vertically, you will center the spring disc on the adjustment bolt in the bell, place the spring on the spring disc, and put your friction ring into the bell opening. Make sure that the spring is centered on the diaphragm bolt as you start to thread bell onto the valve body. You can now tighten the bell onto the body. Turn the adjustment bolt clockwise until the bolt is at its original height. You can now slowly turn on your water supply. You will close the downstream hose bib or faucet after water flow becomes clear and constant. In order to verify proper operation of the valve, Wilkins recommends setting the outlet pressure with a pressure gauge. If it is necessary, you can adjust your outlet pressure to 50 psi. The outlet pressure is raised by turning the bolt clockwise into the bell. To lower the outlet pressure, you will turn the bolt counterclockwise and then open a faucet to relieve any pressure and check the actual setting. You can now tighten the lock nut when your desired pressure is set. You will then observe your gauge for a few minutes to make sure pressure is constant, showing cartridge and o-rings are seated properly and that there are no internal leaks in the valve.